just going to stick this matchup out, and I'm trying to go for the for the win with my Zero Suit. I mean, uh, if you remember Momocon, Momocon, did Nairo go straight ZSS? Uh, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Momocon, that was huge, too. That was a really good performance, man. A lot, a lot of interesting sets uh, between both of these two players. And Shine 2017, of course, these guys will make history again on the grand stage. All right, guys. Make some noise. I want to see that chat filled with spam mods. Leave them alone. Here we go. Game one, Nairo versus Zero. <laughs> There's not ATKs and Nairo Apexes. That's it, man. Gotta have it all. And already you could see Nairo just trying his best to apply that aerial pressure that we know Zero Suit Samus is so great at. And I will not be surprised to see a lot of these dash grabs from Nairo as well, knowing that he can't really get KO'd at such low percents. There we go. And there's the first one into the forward air. Uh-oh. Interesting the eye right there by uh, Zero. He probably was expecting to connect the forward air. Dancing around each other. Those grabs Nairo is so known for. Very aggressive in how he applies them. But sometimes it can be his downfall. Going for the full jabs there. Opening up Zero out of shield. Great monkey flip coming out. Nice hops right here. Not trying to get caught by the banana. And I like that from Nairo. Instantly grabbing it and throwing it away. Forcing Zero into a situation where he'll need to pick up another one. Ooh, okay. We saw this DI from Zero. He wasn't going to get caught by that up air after that neutral air. Yeah, DI all the way away. Great read on the air dodge and taking that stock. Only 60% on TSM Zero at the moment. Zero just so solid at finding his up airs, man. He will wait for that air dodge. And then once he sees it, he will strike. Right there, Nairo tries to see if he can possibly set up for that flip kick conversion. Or maybe even a forward smash. Nairo looking for this down smash, but gets the grab off stage. No edge guard, good low recovery coming out from Zero. Nice, and I saw how Nairo stayed grounded after that pressure from Zero and responded quickly with that jab. That was some of the fastest jabs right there in the game. I believe tied with Little Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, frame one. One frame, yeah. Look at that, man. Uh-oh. Simon Belmont doesn't get the strong hitbox to knock away. Ooh, and staying on the ledge for too long, but doesn't get the pickup. Uncharacteristic of Nairo, he's yeah. usually so on point with those. Oh, yeah, very, very rare to see a miss like that from him. And show how intense this set is, man. The pressure from the banana into the down smash, with the up B out of shield, enough to take the stock. 68% on the board. This is definitely something that Nairo can bring back. And here it is, Zero with the banana in hand, forcing Nairo to have to mix up his landing. You saw him use the double jump and the flip kick, too. But still, Zero holding down the left side of the stage. Yeah, this forward air pressure coming out from Zero has just been relentless, so difficult. But finally, Nairo finds his way back to center, almost gets that dash grab. Oh, very, very smart stuff right there. You saw Zero go for the forward air. Just not allowing Nairo to keep up that pressure. Nairo electing to fade back a little bit. Getting, uh, getting hit just for an inch, inching forward, even a little bit. Nairo just trying to dance around the platform, trying to find a way. Oh, this could be something amazing. Misses the neutral air, but still gets a little bit of damage. Good stuff right there. Nairo again. The patient stuff, moving back. Uh -oh. oh, this should be... Oh, he drops out of the up smash. Yep, and giving Nairo an op another opportunity to live on. Yes. A Good roll back on the platform, too, by Zero. Absolutely. A glimmer of hope in the Nairo right here. And we know what Zero Suit is capable of. That platform pressure, though. And you saw that platform pressure right there from... Zero, knocking Nairo to the side. And finally finds his way back to center once again. Banana in hand, but the monkey flip kick! Not enough! Not getting the KO indeed! But the back air off the ledge, catching Nairo's jump and taking the first game 1-0 to 0. Very interesting exchanges right here between both of the players. From what I've seen, Zero, very, very dominant, especially when it comes to the ledge trapping, which, you know, that's Zero in a nutshell, right? When every time he has the opponent locked in the corner, it's really, really difficult for you to get out. By the time you do get out of the corner, there's so much damage on you that you're close to losing your stock. And that was definitely a show that was definitely present throughout that game one. Nairo was very often stuck in the corner. He was just trying to find ways to get back to center stage, and Zero was not giving them to him. Excellent anti-air. What am I telling you? Zero is just so on top of understanding what options players have to escape out of these pressure situations. But Nairo, okay. 
got 17 damage right there off of that. So Nairo okay. was definitely expecting the attack landing right there, but he was out of range to get the jab. Good trade right there for Nairo, actually. Putting out that Zare helped him with that banana situation. That was a very good trade for him. Definitely. Banana pull, throwing Nairo off stage. Very smart by Zero. Uh-oh. Another one? But no oh, Zero escapes right there with the double jump. Very smart play. And again, Zero's awareness in disadvantage, the way he's able to prevent his opponents from getting these huge punishes that they normally try and get. It's just so, so good. It's interesting seeing how sometimes Zero will opt to set up a cross-up with these up airs too, That right? was a fantastic oh. grab, calling out that roll from a mile away. Nice punish too with that F tilt, but Zero getting knocked all the way to the side. Nothing too big right there for Nairo. He just got percent, which is good. Nice, trying to see if he can bait a jump from Zero Zero. Just mixing it up. Good, good stall there on the recovery too. Went rather high. Very, very scary. Waiting for the Edos once again and taking the same stock the same way that he did in game one. Absolutely, very reminiscent of that first stock situation. And here it is. Zero still trying to maintain the lead. Going for the forward air is a very scary move for a lot of players to deal with. Nairo actually mixing it up, going straight for the boost kick, catching Zero unawares. Who tries to back air him out of that up B, but unable to. Oh, knocking him on the platform. That's free opportunity to get some damage, and Zero takes it. Beautiful boost kick out of shield. Still not enough to take the stop, though. Nairo try, trying to hold Zero right here on the stage. Okay, that quick monkey flip gets punished. Not a KO. Oh. Wow, that was such an aggressive chase coming out from Nairo. And very good risk management, as you notice. Nairo was only at 40, uh, in his 30s, right? So it wasn't that bad. Yeah, there was no way Diddy Kong was going to get a kill at that percent. Nairo just searching for his back air, searching for a way to take the stock. In a similar si situation in the previous game, Zero is living to these high percents. Looking for an opening here. Nairo committing to all three hits of that jab. String still struggling to get the lead. That was a fantastic dash grab coming out from Zero. He punctuated that off with such empty pressure, but an up tilt dropping his shield, taking the stock at about 140, 150%. Absolutely, and here's one thing that's really interesting about these sets, right? Whenever you're facing off against Nairo, the threat of a rage combo by Zero Suit Samus, it, it can happen. It's omnipresent, uh -oh. it's always there. Getting what? the first grab, comboing off of it. Okay, went for a forwarder instead. Probably wanted to build up some more damage. Here's another Here shot, go. one, two. And the boost kick, there it and is. And that it is. What did I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Those rage combos, you have to be careful. Nairo able to open up that opportunity by going for a safe option in neutral. That neutral air, if Zero were to block it, Nairo would be A-OK, -okay, as you can see. But he actually was able to land it, getting that hit, confirming into the grab. And from there, we saw the loss of a stock with that rage combo. Great stuff, putting Nairo tied up here with Zero. And now we're going to go to Lilac Roots. Game three, and uh, of course we saw a lot of strong play coming out from Zero, but there were careful adjustments towards the end of that game three, that game two even, that allowed Nairo to take the victory. You see Nairo right now trying to apply some safe pressure usually using these airs, but Zero staying so close to Nairo, it kind of makes using these airs in neutral a uh, tad more risk. Yeah, it's very, very difficult. Even with that frame one jab from Zero Suit, it's very, very difficult for her to really deal with Diddy when she's so close. Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Just dominant play right there from Zero. Stuff we've seen time and time again. Nice. As you can see, if you uh, if this character, Zero Suit Samus, goes for all three times, that's Zero, please. Um, I mean, he's out of control. You can, <laughs> you can get crossed up. Zero actually trying to see if he can get that punish, but a little bit too far. Nairo going for a lot of these grabs. He really wants to get back into this game. Yep. But Zero, I don't know why he's doing it. Zero has been playing very much in shield versus his attacks, but Zero's decision making versus shield versus attacks and shield versus grabs has been impeccable this game. Finally, Nairo able to get the grab, but misses the boost kick. Oh, it's spiking him right there into the ground. Great tech right there by Nairo. Zero unable to get anything else from it, but he does have the lead. He's still keeping it. Forward smash again. Oh. Very, very strong game three coming out from TSM Zero. One game away from making his way into Grand Finals. Yep, and now it is time for Nairo to win. We've seen different characters from him before. And 
Now that we're at the character select screen, the question is on everyone's mind. Will he switch characters or will he stay with 0 6 Samus? We have a. Okay, we're on the, uh, on the map selection screen now. So I guess that's it. Yep. Sticking to 0 6 Samus. Sticking to his guns and sticking to his main. Yes. Taking it to Smashville. Game, game four. Yeah, so uh, with 0 right now in the lead, 2 1. 0 again, just trying to stay up close and personal here in these matches. We're going for a lot of these forward airs. Trying to interrupt Naira every time he tries to uh, get something started, it seems. You know, a lot of times you see Zuzu Samus, she starts up her pressure. Wow! From the air, right? What fantastic re-grab as well coming out from Zero. Yes. 38% on Naira at the moment. It's just all over the place. Edge canceling, just moving. Look, look at that. Yeah, Zero is moving so fast. Nairo is having a hard time just creating enough space for him to allow, to allow him to apply the pressure that he wants to. Great to opening with that dash attack. Yep, but right there you saw Zero. He held away from Zero Six Samus. Yes, very clever in that situation because if Nairo had tried to follow him away, he probably would have ended up off stage. Exactly. There not it enough, is. Not enough rage this time to get the off, uh, off the top kill from the multi hits. Nice by Zero. Actually waited to see if he can get that punish, and he was so fast at that too. Opportunity. Good mash out right there by Nairo. Yes. Nairo reading the roll, but again, Zero being very vigilant, just sticking in shield. That's a punish. Oh, oh wait. I, he actually, I, I didn't know who had a banana in hand. I just realized it was actually Nairo. So there, there it is. Go. An excellent forward smash, and that's enough to take the stock. Finally, Nairo, pretty much for the first time in this set, has the lead. Yes, beautiful plays here. It's going to be hard to maintain that lead, though, against Zero. Well, that it is. After a down tilt to up smash, KO as well. But back to 0% each side. Potentially Nairo's winner's side stock with an immediate landing grab. Nice, and Nairo had to respect that banana, allowing Zero to land comfortably. And the chants are coming the, out. The crowd has erupted. They want to see a game five. They want to see Nairo continue on through the bracket. Through the winner's side bracket. Oh, Zero Monkey flipping on stage. This time not getting punished. Excellent power shield on that neutral air, allowing him to actually get that shield grab. And there's the dash grab. One. A two. Oh, he gets Missing the second. miss. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised to see another dash grab, but he has to set it up. He can't make it too obvious. Oh, he set it. I had to go for the down smash there, but Zero was ready with that forward air. And again, coming out with these forward airs, just draining that wall. We know so well from Diddy Kong. Not enough percent just yet to take that stock. Arrow's still trying his best to see if he can bring it back. I mean, he does have the more rage now. Which means that Zero has to be careful. He has yeah. to have a play style similar to the style he'll have against a Lucario, even. A very, very similar situation that we saw in game two. Of course, Zero had the lead. Oh, he tried to land on the banana, but he was off on the spacing. And Zero forward smashing in for his troubles. Zero moving on to grand finals. Shine 2017. Meanwhile, Nairo waiting in the finals final for the winner final. of the next set. Amazing, amazing stuff right there between both of those players. Zero did look.